When confronted with an inappropriate question, it is important to respond in a manner that maintains your dignity as well as your composure. I got the 10 tips that I'm going to be sharing with you right now for myself. However, I thought I might as well share them with my online community. Now, I must make mention, not all of them may be appropriate responses, especially in the office setup or when you're responding to someone who is more senior than you in terms of age, in terms of qualifications, or even someone who is more senior than you in terms of ranking in that office setup. So let's get into some of these responses. Please feel free to share some responses that you have used in the past and any recommendations you can make for me. Response number one. Can you help me understand how this question is relevant to the topic that we are currently discussing? This question prompts the other person to justify the relevance of their question. Response number two. What do you mean by that? Seeking clarification can expose the inappropriate nature of the question that this person has actually asked you. Response number two. What do you mean by that? Seeking clarity can expose the inappropriate nature of the question that has been asked to you. The other thing that you can do is also ask the same question back to this person that has asked you the question. Let's say somebody asked, when are you getting married? You can ask them, when are you getting married? And should they already be married? You can always have a backup of questions like, why did you get married? What is marriage like? Tell me, maybe that will help me consider it. Response number three. That's an interesting question. Why do you ask that? By asking this question back to the person that has asked, you put them in the spotlight and you sort of dissect the question. And if to a certain extent, the motivation behind that question is not making sense, then there is no need for you to respond to it. Response number four. Why do you think this question is important or how does it add value to our conversation? It encourages the person to reflect on the question once again and also it may get them to really think about how inappropriate this question may be. Response number five. I am not sure I am clear on what you're getting at. Could you please elaborate? This response is similar to response number four, which again puts the person that has asked you this inappropriate question in a place where they will have to elaborate, clarify, bring to light just how inappropriate this question may be. Response number six, how about we refocus on the topic at hand or maybe we should focus on the topic at hand or Maybe you should shift our focus to the topic at hand. This is a gentle way. This is a gentle way to steer the conversation back to where it is supposed to be. Response number seven. This one is easy. You can simply say that you are not comfortable with the question and you don't feel it is an appropriate question and you will not respond to it and just continue with where the conversation should be going. Response number seven, I find that question to be very inappropriate. Please, can we proceed in the right direction, focusing on what we are currently discussing? This type of response clearly sets the boundary. It draws the line between, okay, now, now we are just going beyond what we're supposed to be talking about and i think it is unacceptable response number eight is i am not sure i want to get into that right now could we focus on the topic at hand 
risk space number eight. I would rather not get into that right now. This type of response gives you control of the conversation. Once again, it draws the line between what we are supposed to be discussing and what we're not supposed to be discussing. It is a straightforward response, which is something that you should be able to get away with. If you are not comfortable responding to something, if you do not want to get into something, there is no need for you to get into it. No one should force you into getting into it. Response number nine, how does that question contribute to us achieving our objectives for today? This type of response steers the conversation back to where it is supposed to go and also highlights the fact that the question is completely unnecessary and it shouldn't be on the table. My favorite is response number 10. How is that any of your business? Especially if it is a private question, it doesn't concern the person who is asking me this question. I simply tell them, I don't think it's any of your business. And it ends there. This response and question is very direct. It also sets the boundaries. You are in control of the conversation and you're simply telling the person it's none of your business and you have no right to ask me that. Now that I've shared the 10 things I wrote for myself, let's get into the comment section and share some of the tips that you may have for me or some of the techniques that you use to deal with people that are fond of asking inappropriate questions. <laughs>